Hey guys, welcome back to the video. So in this video, I will be giving you six months plan to learn data engineering. So even if you are from the non CS background, this plan will help you to learn data engineering from the scratch. So this plan contains all the different course recommendation from different websites. So I will give you multiple choices for different courses and you can choose one to learn about that particular topic. So without wasting time, let's get started. Hey guys, so let's start with our six months data engineering plan. So this plan you can execute step by step to learn about data engineering. So I've divided these things into multiple sections and you can follow that section based on your knowledge and expertise. So the first thing is that learning about computer science fundamentals. Now this section is for those people who does not have CS background. Now a lot of people in my comment section ask me that I don't have like computer science degree so what should I do? So if you don't have CS background then you can start with this particular uh, section. So first course I have listed down over here is the Python programming and the basics of computer science fundamentals. This particular course is on edx.com so you can enroll this particular course this is free okay the audit of this particular course is free but if you want the certification then you might have to pay for it but again the course is free so you can learn a lot of things from this course so if you see over here what you will learn in this course so you have like a notion of computation so basics of computation then python programming language this is important if you are working in the data engineer because you will be doing a lot of python coding then we have some simple algorithm testing and debugging data structures and algorithm complexity such as pico notation and all the other things so this is really basic and if you don't have cs background then this is the course I will suggest you to start with. I mean, there are a lot of different courses, but this is the course I found online and this is provided by MIT. So you can learn a lot of things in this. So if you don't have CS background, then start with this particular course. Then you can jump to this particular specialization. So in this particular specialization, you will get a lot of different courses. So if you go and click on the courses, first of all, you will learn the fundamental of network communication. Now, the reason to learn is that if you are working in the IT field, then you should know how network communication work because this is the way how computer communicates with different computers. So this course will teach you fundamentals of network communication. So this will start with the basics, then peer to peer protocol and local area networks packet switching, network algorithm, TCP IP. So these are all the computer science basic fundamentals. Again, do this particular course if you don't have CS background. If you have CS background, then you might understand all of these basic fundamentals so you can get started. And the third thing I have over here is like the grokking algorithms. Now, this is for those people who does not understand the basics of data structures and algorithm. So you can go over here, you can maybe you can find the eBooks online, then that will be great. If you want to purchase this book, then you can purchase this particular book. This particular book is really good. I had read this particular book when I was getting into computer science and data engineering and I learned a lot of things in this book. This has like the illustrative guide. So you will understand complex to complex data structure in simple manner. So I just suggest you if you are like completely beginner, then you can start with these courses. Also, you can find the alternative courses on YouTube or if you find something, then you can do that. But I just wanted to give you structural idea how to get started. So second thing on the list is we have learning programming language. Now over here, I have provided four different courses because some people like doing courses from Udemy. Some people like doing courses from Coursera or edX or DataCamp. Or you can also check the similar playlist on YouTube if you want to learn from that. But I just provided some different courses so you don't have confusions or you get the specific path while learning this particular thing. So first of all, we have the programming language. So over here, I have provided four courses. One is from the data camp. So this course I recommend because uh, this particular course is specifically designed for data engineering. So it will give you a lot of different things. It will give you like you will first start with the Python assessment, then you will have like the introduction to data engineering. So you will understand some of the basic things about data engineering. Then it will start with teaching you the pandas. This is the library you use for data transformation or manipulation. Then, then how to write efficient Python codes. And there are a lot of different contents like writing functions, introduction to shell and a lot of different things. So you can start with this course. This is the recommended one. But let's say if you don't want to do this and if you learn better from the Coursera courses, then I also provided this particular course, which is the Python for everybody specialization. This particular specialization consists of a lot of different courses. So you can go. So this will start with the basics of Python. Then it will teach you some of the data structures in the Python, such as dictionary list and all other things. Then you have like how to access the web data, such as you will use some of the libraries and access some XML and JSON files. Then working with the databases, like you will be doing a lot of querying with the database. And at the end, you will get some kind of a project, which is the retrieving, processing and visualizing data using Python. So you will do final project over here and you can 
easily complete this entire specialization now let's say if you don't want to do data cam or coursera then you can go to edx again on edx you will find a similar course so this particular course for python basics for data science this is provided by ibm so again you will learn similar things over here such as like basics of python data structures in the python like basics of fundamentals such as conditional statement loops function objects how to work with different files and numpy array so and then if you don't want to do the edx course then you can go to udemy so over here also the you have like similar things the udemy course is more in depth so it will start with how to you know set up python same things such as basics of python generators decorators then some of the web scraping and all the other things so you can go to this section and understand it see one course will not teach you everything that there, there is no course that exists in the market that will teach you each and everything about the python some courses will teach you some things and some other courses will teach you some other things so you will have to figure out by yourself what are the different things that is missing and you will have to learn by reading documentation blogs and all other things but doing this course will give you the basic understanding and you will have like your first step into data engineering so do one of these courses if you find some other courses then that is fine also i just wanted to give you my recommendation and based on my research these are the courses i found now once you complete your one course then you will have to do some kind of hands-on project so over here i will listed down some of the projects such as scrape data using beautiful soap library and scrape data for amazon covid data wikipedia data or any website you like so you can do that or you can build a calculator using python or there are different projects ideas available online so you can go on to google and just find like python projects ideas and you just have to get the hands-on practice the goal here is not to create like big project the goal here is to give you the confidence how to write python code by yourself so you will pick some project idea or some kind of problem and you will start executing that particular project step by step such as getting the data transforming that data visualizing that data and all the other things so uh, again don't think much about you know getting the right project just think about how you can get the most hands-on experience by writing python code and how you can increase your confidence so once you learn about the programming language then you need to learn about the sql structured query language now sql is basically how you communicate with your database so you should this is like the must have skill for a data engineer so over here i've listed down the three courses one is from the udemy one is from the coursera and data camp so the first course is we have is like complete sql bootcamp 2020-22 go from zero to hero so over here you will learn a lot of different things you can just check uh, in this particular section and yeah over here you have the course content so you will start by installing the pg admin then le learn the basics of the select statement distinct where like how to filter the data limit and all the other things then you have the group by different joins also you have like assessment test in between so you can do this particular thing to check your knowledge then how to create database conditional statement and all the other things so this is the first course for the sql i recommend i also have like the sql series on my channel going on so you can check that if you want to learn from that the second we have is from the coursera so again this is sql for the data science so this particular course is similar one now this is mainly uh related for the data science but the fundamentals are the same right so getting started with the selecting retrieving data using sql then filtering sorting calculating so the fundamentals in each and every course you will find the same but the people who teach this course might be different so you might like learning from the course era more than learning from the udemy so it's up to you which courses you want to select all the courses are same and all the courses will teach you same fundamentals so it's up to you what you are most comfortable with and the third course we have is from the data camp so again this is the same like selecting columns filtering rows aggregated functions sorting grouping so contents are same in each and every website you just have to uh, sit in front of your computer and start learning all of these things now once you learn the sql then you need to practice these things because without practice you will not learn anything so what do you have to do on hacker rank you will have like these uh, questions so you can just click on this particular ring hacker rank sql and you will go to this particular link and you will just start solving uh, different questions over here so uh, there are like a lot of different questions so you can pick uh, so the goal over here is to get the most hands-on experience so you start with the easy question let's say you will do five easy question then you will do like uh, five like medium questions and you will do let's say five hard questions so that way you will get the more hands-on experience and if you do this then you will also get the hacker link star so you can display that on your profile so if you complete this entire section if you do the entire hands-on practice by yourself then you will get the five star from the hacker rank that can you can put that onto your profile so this is for the sql so what we have done first clear your computer science fundamentals programming language and the sql so this is the basics now the fourth thing over here is like learning about the linux now why linux because 
again i told you that you will be working with the remote machine so you will have to do a lot of ssl statement and those machine will be linux unix and all the other things so you will have to write commands inside the linux so you don't have to remember all of these command you just have to understand what those commands do and how to write them because most of the time let's say if you want to list down some of the directories you can just google the command and you can paste it but what to google it's really important so once you learn these particular things then you will understand what to look for when you face any problem so over here again i have like listed down two different courses one is from the udemy so the udemy course is this one linux for beginners linux basics again you will learn all the basic things about linux like how to set up linux in your pc introduction to linux shells linux file system how to work with file system network settings and all the fundamental things you need while working with the linux again you don't have to go deep into that you just have to learn the basics of commands and you're good to go once you do this you can also have like the same course available on the coursera this is the linux fundamentals this has like the same content like understand the linux operating system that this might be in more depth so if you want to go into more depth then you can go like view create copy move file so this is how to work with the linux so again you can do this particular course now let's say once you finish doing this let's uh, let's say you learn about the computer science fundamentals programming language sql you do hands-on practice understand the basics of linux then you can do one project this is available on my channel this is completely free okay so you can do and go to this particular playlist i've created like the detailed playlist which teaches you about how to build a data model so you will learn how to work with the data modeling how to work with the databases and these are the fundamental concept so you will learn about that creating data databases building creating database and building with the python and all the other things so you will learn everything in detail on this particular thing and you will complete your first project so once you uh, learn about these basic fundamentals you can go to my channel and work on like the similar project if you find some similar project then you can do that but this one is pretty straightforward so i recommend this because again this is on my channel and this is free so you can do this so this will give you the strong fundamentals to get started with the big data because these are the skills needed for all the different fields in the data such as data science machine learning data analytics bi development or wherever you go you will need understanding of these things so once you complete this and this particular thing should take around like let's say two to three months so if you complete these things then you are good to go just execute this entire project and you will have like a complete understanding of base six and one project on your hand now after this you need to go and do the big data fundamentals now this is where we will start learning about the big data system so over here as always i have listed down multiple courses one is from the coursera so this one is the recommended one because this has like a lot of different things for understanding for the big data and i also have done this particular course uh, while i was learning about the big data so it will start with like the introduction to big data so it will give you like how what the big data is like different ways of big data like how to get the value from the big data and all the other things so it will start with the basic then you will learn about like how to create model and manage your database then it will start by giving you more theoretical knowledge such as big data modeling and all the other things then how to process that data then basics of machine learning graph analytics then big data capstone project so again so this particular specialization is really in detail so if you want to go deep into big data then you can do this particular course then also we have like from the edX so big data fundamentals this is more of the fundamental knowledge so if you just want to understand the few things about the big data and if you know some of the things about the big data then you can do this particular course again this have like the similar content start with the basics then it will give you some of the real world uh, use cases then google web search how it works and, and as you can see it has like a lot of different use cases that you can learn so again the contents the fundamental will be the same but the way they teach and the some of the extra things you might find in some different courses so you can do that and at the end we have like the, this particular thing which is from uh udemy learn big data the hadoop ecosystem now this particular course i suggest you to do uh, if you want to learn more about hadoop ecosystem and if you want to learn about the history of the big data how everything started so it will teach you like basics of hadoop then entire hadoop ecosystem such as pig spark hive real time processing kafka storm and all the other things so if you want to deep dive into history of the big data then this particular course will help you with that now over here so again i have already mentioned that the coursera one is recommended do this particular udemy course if you want to learn about the legacy system and you can also do the edx course if you want okay so again this is for the big data fundamentals now once you do this course then you will understand how big data works from the bottom level then you have to do the data warehouse fundamentals now if you 
have been following my channel from previously then you will understand what data warehouse is so but if you don't know what data warehouse is then this courses will teach you that so so again over here i've like listed down two courses so if you want to deep dive into data warehouse fundamentals and if you have no idea about data warehouse then this particular course is good for you then because this is like very detailed data warehouse uh, course so it will start with like basics of data management fundamentals then concepts such as how to design data warehouse relational database support for data warehouses business intelligence concept and and then how to design and build a data warehouse for business intelligence so this is very in-depth course okay if you have like no knowledge about data warehouse then you can do this but if you just want to you know uh, have like the quick uh, recap of data warehouse and understand all of the fundamentals of data warehouse then you can do the, this udemy course this is basically the data warehouse fundamentals for beginners and over here you will find all the different things that will teach so basics of data warehouse architecture how to design pack table dimension tables and all the other things so so this particular course is really good for the beginners and if you are just getting started so this course will teach you that so these parts are all the theoretical so you just have to understand the theory behind all of this concept then we have like building the batch and real-time streaming pipeline because again as a data engineer one of your job will be to create data pipeline from one system to some other system writing etl jobs and all the other things and for that we have two things which is the writing batch pipeline that is using spark and we have like the real time streaming platform that is using kafka so over here i have provided like two different uh, courses one is from the data camp so this will teach you big data fundamental with the pyspark so pyspark is basically uh you write spark code with the uh, python so that becomes easier if you know already the pi if you already know the python so it will start with like again introduction of the big data analysis with the spark then how to create like rdd this is basically called as a resilient distributed data set so once you do the course then you will start understanding how to work with the uh, different data then how to write sql in the spark data frames machine learning fundamentals inside the pi spark so so this is this course is completely focused on spice park and the hands-on experience if you want to get but again uh the same course is available on udemy so you will have like a similar experience on udemy so you can do this course and it will teach you similar things but the approach might be different the teacher will be different so it you will learn some different things and you will learn about many different things so you just have to go and see what you want to learn what course is good for you and based on that uh, you, you can pick one but the, my recommendation is again this first course because this is more focused on the uh, data camp so let me just write this uh, recommended so so now again over here we have like the real-time streaming pipeline using, using kafka so again i provided like two course one is from the udemy i can you can check this and one is from the edX. this is the same course just click on this and you will understand a lot of different things now this is all of these things are for the theoretical okay so this you don't have to do a lot of hands-on over here you just have to understand the theory and how it works over here you might have to do some of the hands-on like writing PySpark code and doing things so once you're done with this then we have like the few things which is learning about the data orchestration which is airflow so the airflow course on the udemy this one is really really good okay so i suggest you to do if you want to learn airflow then you can start from here and uh, again you will learn everything from how to get started with the airflow two operators in inside the airflow how to create a basic data pipeline and everything so you will learn that now if you don't want to do that again you can go to data camp and you will learn similar things over there it's like implementing airflow DAGs, maintaining and monitoring airflow workflows and all the other things so it's up to you what you want to do and how you learn it but these are the two course recommendation i have now after you learn about data orchestration then you have you can learn about dashboard tool so there are two ways to visualize like one is using code and one is using tool so i provided both here so if you want to learn visualization using code then you can check this particular uh udemy course this is basically python data analyst and visualization master class so you can click on this link and it will redirect you to the python course now after the code you have like different tools okay so in the market there are many different tools available so we have, we have tableau power bi data studio fixite and many more things but i have let's i've just listed down tableau and the power bi because this is like high in demand and if you don't know any of the tool then you can learn tableau or power bi so it's up to you what you want to do so i have already provided udemy courses for both of that but i will suggest you to learn uh how to do visualization using code and then you can pick either tableau or you can pick a uh, power bi it's up to you what you want to do so these all things will give you basic understanding of data engineering from writing python code to writing sql writing linux commands and working with remote pc you will do your first hands-on project then you will learn about like big data fundamentals data warehouse fundamentals learn about 
the batch pipeline and real time streaming pipeline data orchestration tool and dashboarding tool at the end now now once you learn all of these things then you have to learn about one cloud computing platform so we have like three things over here this is the kind of the advanced section so once you are complete with all the above section then you can jump onto this so over here we have amazon web services gcp and microsoft azure so aws gcp and microsoft azure provide like different certifications so you can uh, get certified and that will increase your value in the market so if i go to let's say aws certification and if i go over here then you will see we have like a lot of different certifications available such as cloud practitioner architect uh like solution architect sysops develop developer then solution architect professional devops and all the other specialty now doing this certification has like a lot of value in the market so after you learn the basic this these all the courses are just for the learning okay so after you learn these things then you can get certified by aws or gcp or azure it's up to you what you want to choose but again if you are new into this market then if you don't know what to pick then i will suggest you to do this certification and learn about aws because it has the highest market segment and it also has a lot of opportunities available in the market so you can do that once you learn about one particular cloud then you can again do the hands-on pro projects on my channel i've provided like to two different projects over here so you can do that one project is this one okay so this is completely based on the cloud computing you will also do the covid project end to end so you can do that and once i just uh, recently published which is this is the youtube analysis project so you can to do this particular project also okay so you will understand both the things and you will also get the two different projects at the end so total three projects you will do uh, inside this particular study plan and you will learn a lot of different things about a uh, lot of different concepts so it's up to you if you want to do this particular course if you don't want to do then you can find the similar courses online on the youtube or if you find some other website then do that but the study plan is the same it's up to you how you want to execute okay and how you want to learn about it so i hope this video was helpful for you and you learned something new thank you for watching this video if you watched this video till the end then let me know in the comments what are your next step to execute this particular plan and as always make sure you like this particular video so that will help my channel to grow and reach more and more people and thank you for watching see you in the next video